Hi, I'm Joey Altman with Pottery Barn, here with a delicious recipe for your next tasting party, showcasing flavors from around the world. This recipe is inspired by Thailand. It's Thai curried mussels with lemongrass, red curry paste, kefir lime, and coconut milk. And it's really simple to do. When you buy mussels, you wanna make sure that they're nice and clean and they smell fresh. You wanna wash them in cold water, drain them off, and then look for any pieces of this like seaweed that's still attached, pull that off. And if any mussels are open, give them a little tap. And if they close up like that one just did, you're good to go. If they stay open, put it in the discard bin. This is the lemongrass stalk. What I do is I just cut off the end, cut off the top that's really dry. This is really hard. Take off the outer two layers here, and then just give it a good whack. It sort of just breaks it open and allows those aromas and flavors to come out of the lemongrass. And then I just cut that into bars like this. This is not something you want to eat. This is just an aromatic for our broth to give it a nice lemongrass flavor. All right, so now let's move to the stove and cook our mussels. All right, my pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna add some vegetable oil, just a little bit. Now the first thing I'm gonna add is some of the red curry paste. Stir that in, and some red onion. Stir that together. Wanna to really explode those flavors of the curry paste into the oil. Okay, now I'm gonna immediately add my mussels. Stir the mussels in. Add the rest of the onions. Now I'm gonna add my lemongrass. Add the kefir lime leaf, which you don't eat. Again, it's one of those aromatics. And I'm gonna stir that together. And I'm gonna cook this for a little while until the mussels just start to open. Okay, now I'm gonna add the coconut milk. And then finally, the fish sauce. Now I'm gonna stir that together, cover it, and let it cook for a couple of minutes. All right, the mussels look great. Let's bring it over to the cutting board and finish it up. Okay, to finish the mussels, I'm gonna add some fresh lime juice, which really adds a delicious bright note. Then, chopped raw Roma tomato. And then finally, some fresh Thai basil leaves that I just simply tear up into small pieces. And then I just stir this all together, and the heat from the mussels and the broth is enough to get the flavor of the basil into the broth. Now I'm ready to plate our mussels, and I have this beautiful Pottery Barn red salad plate, which is a great backdrop for the black mussels. And here you have my Thai-inspired black mussels with red coconut curry. Perfect for your next tasting party. Enjoy.